Sally Kearney may seem like your average 21-year-old girl. Studying physiology at Manchester Metropolitan University, Tully loves playing with her cats and in her spare time practising her favourite hobby, sewing. However, Tully is also a Great Britain para swimmer and a 2018 European champion and a four-times world champion. Tully was born with cerebral palsy, a condition marked by impaired muscle coordination. In her early teens, Tully started showing early warning signs of dystonia, and after a couple of years of extensive testing, she was finally diagnosed with generalised dystonia, a movement disorder which affects multiple muscle groups within the body, causing muscles to contract uncontrollably. I moved to the Royal Wolverhampton where they had an academy. Uh, when it came time for my A-levels, I moved back home and started training with my home club. And that's when everything really changed. I made my first major meet, went to my first World Championships in 2013. Then carried on training and making up the rankings, I made my second Worlds in 2015. And that was my most successful career by achievement so far, coming back with four golds, a silver and a bronze. And that's when I decided to move to Manchester to train at the National Aquatics and start university. However, despite Tully's dystonia worsening as she got older, she did not let it affect her desire to swim and has gone on to break European and world para swimming records. Lead up to Rio, I was training nine times a week. I was doing about four hours in the gym and Training was going really well up until about April when I started to get the same sort of injury that I'd had in 2015, before, just before Worlds. And at first I just kept getting steroid injections so I could swim through it. And then it became more obvious that it was getting more of a serious injury. And because I kept trying to push through it, my dystonia um, reacted badly to it, which meant that just before everyone flew out to Rio, I actually had to withdraw. After the devastation of having to withdraw from Rio, I had to have well over a year out, mostly because I just couldn't swim, I was in so much pain every day. Once I started to get a bit better and um, found ways of managing my pain with different drugs and nerve blocks, I uh, decided that I wanted to try and get back to fitness, wanted to get in to prove to myself that I could actually swim because I was really scared and frightened about what my body could do now and realised actually I am a lot more impaired but I can actually swim now and there is a way for me to still compete. I got reclassified into a new class to suit my le net, like my higher level of disability. Even in 2017, in August, I raced and I was ranked number four in the world in my 400. So, so I decided to aim for the Tokyo Paralympics because although it would be devastating if I missed it again, I feel like I... I can't give up, I haven't got what I wanted out of the sport and I'm not going to give up until I get it and I feel that I'm in a pretty good position right now and I feel that it would be a silly move to walk away from the sport that I love so much. Though the future may be uncertain for Tully as she has already experienced her dystonia could at any point take a turn for the worse. However, with her strong-minded attitude, determination and her brilliant swimming ability, I am sure we will be seeing her at Tokyo 2020 and you'll be hearing much more of the name Tully Kearney.